It is your pass to go wherever you want. Your license to drive is a daily green light to personal freedom. But for the nearly 700,000 immigrants living in Florida, illegally getting a driver's license is a dead-end street, leading to a life of fear and putting everyone else on the road at risk. Tonight in our new Full Circle Report, Paul Legrone examines one potential solution that's gaining traction in Tallahassee, but is also raising serious questions here in Tampa Bay. Life on Florida roads. A major crash on I-275. A minor fender bender blocking traffic. Can be a contact sport. I say I-4, you say what? Busy, like always. And with an estimated 685,000 undocumented immigrants navigating Florida's busy highways, driving without a license and without insurance, there's now a growing risk on the roads we all share. But the road to legally drive in Florida for people who are living here illegally is about to take an unexpected turn. State lawmakers now considering the idea of giving driver's licenses to undocumented immigrants. So not only is it good for them, but also it would be good for the rest of Floridians too. Alexis Davis works for Florida Policy Institute. The nonprofit published this November 2019 report, making the case to allow all immigrants a chance to get a license to drive, whether they're here legally or not. Why should they be granted the legal right to drive? It's gonna improve public safety when more people are licensed and tested before getting on our roads. The report also estimates $68 million in extra revenue would pour into the state from fees, taxes, and vehicle purchases. But it's the public safety angle that could be the most convincing selling point for lawmakers. Hit and run crashes are surging across the state. Data from Florida Highway Patrol shows that since January 1st of 2018, there have been nearly 103,000 hit and run cases statewide, resulting in 215 deaths and more than 21,000 injuries. But he didn't get out to stop and ask her how she was. He ran. And while there's no direct data showing undocumented drivers cause hit and runs, those pushing for all immigrants to have a driver's license point to the 14 states that have already implemented such policies including California, where research found uninsured rates and hit and run accidents decreased because these drivers did not fear deportation and they were less likely to flee the scene. You think this is a win-win for everyone? For everybody, everybody. Why? Because we don't have to deal with the, the harsh reality of an unlicensed driver without insurance. Immigration attorney Samson Koyanda represents clients from all over the world who are driving in the shadows on Tampa Bay streets. I've had clients who've been arrested for driving without valid driver licenses, and as a result of the interaction with local law enforcement, a federal agent is called, and then they are taken to an immigration uh, detention facility. And they're gone? Yes. So that one episode cost them? Correct being in the country. Just driving without a valid driver license, yes. If they live here, we have to deal with the fact that they live here. Sophie Hall is a working mom who built a career as a model. She moved to Florida from England with her family when she was nine. Five years later, her parents' visas expired. I was 14, I, I didn't know what to do. What do you do when you're 14 years old and become an illegal immigrant? She has a driver's license now under the DREAM Act, but for years, she drove without one. It's real. I just want people to know that like, we're human beings and we just want to live, have a normal life, provide for our families, become something great. I want my story to be inspiration to others. And I certainly applaud the fact that they want to do better for themselves and their family. But it starts with following our rules. Undocumented immigrants having driver's licenses, is that a good idea? No, unequivocally, no. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says giving licenses to people who are living here illegally sends the wrong message. They came here in violation of the law, and now we're going to give them a positive incentive after they violated the law. But like many growing areas in Florida, hit and run crashes are also rising in Polk County, on pace this year to see a 6% increase. The Polk County Sheriff's Office arrested Bionel Cervez Gomez after a hit and run crash that caused Courtney Belzer to lose her unborn child. 
Well, I instantly hit my stomach on the steering wheel, and I felt, I felt it. I knew, I knew something was wrong, and I was, I just wanted to get to the hospital. Deputies say Cervez Gomez was here illegally and had been deported back to Mexico once before. He told deputies he left the scene because he didn't have a driver's license. You've had some pretty horrific cases in Polk County involving hit and runs that involve people here who were undocumented, who did not have driver's licenses. That's correct. The argument uh, for or in favor of this is that it would cut down on situations like that. That's just fiction. It's just fiction because the vast majority of people who hit and run are not illegal immigrants without a driver's license. But if you're thinking that a liberal lawmaker is behind this, meet Republican State Senator David Simmons. He is promising to introduce a bill that would offer undocumented workers a license to drive. You're a Trump supporter. Uh, some might look at you and say you're an unlikely person to be supporting this. What do you say to that? I'm not into... Uh... Uh, to any kind of characterization of individuals who happen to be here uh, as uh, undocumented, as uh, being a group of uh, criminals or thugs. We need to solve the problem here. Freedom versus fear. Every time a policeman drove by, my stomach would fall. Safety versus law and order. To reward people who violate the law, violate the rules, is not appropriate. It's a complicated problem that's not going away anytime soon as Florida's immigrant population keeps growing. And Senator Simmons tells us he has yet to introduce the legislation for the 2020 session. He says it's a work in progress and he's waiting to get input from other lawmakers before he submits the bill. Paul Legrome, ABC Action News.